A car is a car. Is a spa. Hmm. An office. Hi. Uh, Hello. A cinema. So automated. Yes, the definition of a car changes. But one thing stays the same. It's a Mercedes-Benz. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mercedes-Benz at CES 2024. My name is Katie Linendahl, and this morning we're going to talk about the Mercedes-Benz in-car user experience. So wasting no time, let's get right to it. And to kick things off, I'd like to welcome to stage member of the Board of Management of Mercedes-Benz Group AG and Chief Technology Officer, Marcus Schaefer. Always so great to be here at CES with you, Marcus. Yeah, and you great always to meet have up at CES uh, every year. Every That's year, tradition already. And always so many new announcements and excitement. At this time, the floor is yours. Thank you, Katie. So good morning, everyone, uh, from my side. It's great to be back here in Las Vegas. And we have a clear vision of a hyper-personalized Mercedes-Benz user experience. But what does that mean? It starts with a major shift in the relationship between the driver and the car. With artificial intelligence, tomorrow's Mercedes-Benz will know its driver like never before. It will recognize who's driving, meaning it can respond to give you what you want when you want it. Suggestions will be based on factors such as location, time of the day, and battery charge. This why we call it hyper-personalized. It will enhance and complement our lives, and not just in our cars, but also in other areas too. Mercedes-Benz is on a journey towards this, and we have already achieved some important milestones. The first is the Vision EQXX, which we unveiled two years ago. Its user interface showcased the pillar-to-pillar -pillar screen with a game engine graphics and intelligent driver assistance. Its eco assistance, for instance, helps the driver and the car work better as a team. And of course, its groundbreaking efficiencies meets customer needs for excellent long distance range. Another milestone is the concept CLA class, which has its North American premiere here at CES. Because the hyper-personalized Mercedes user experience is also electric. The concept CLA class offers a glimpse into a whole new segment based on our upcoming Mercedes-Benz modular architecture for short. There will be a total of four models, a four-door coupe, a shooting brake, and two SUVs. This close to production concept has an exceptional range of more than 466 miles, which is 750 kilometers, and consumption of around 5.2 miles per kilowatt hour. We call it a hypermiler. This class defining range comes mainly from the new electric drive system, which has up to 93% efficiency. Not only that, its 800-volt architecture enables high-power DC charging, including a 50-kilowatt boost. It can deliver up to 248 miles in just 15 minutes of charge. Another important charging feature is bidirectional charging. When connected to a compatible DC charging station, it could, for instance, store solar power for later use. More importantly, it can also serve as an electric supply, either vehicle to home or vehicle to grid. This is part of what we mean by in-car and beyond. If you look inside the concept CLA class here at the booth, you will see an illuminated, high-performance, water-cooled chip. It stands for the power of our Mercedes-Benz operating system 
MBOS. It's a chip to cloud architecture, and it's a completely new approach. It's actually an enabler of hyper-personalization, and it gives us control to all the domains, allowing us to take the customer experience into a whole new dimension. The concept CLA provides our first model family to run entirely on MBOS. Especially here for the CES, we have demos of some of the great new features and functions of its user interface in the seat bug. As I hinted at earlier, one of them is our new proactive uh, MBUX virtual assistant, powered by generative AI and amazing 3D graphics. It offers human-like interaction and benefits from the results of our optional Jet GPT beta program in the US from last year. So this began in June, and we extended it throughout the year. It has been a great success, and the data is still flowing into our development process. Later this year, we will decide on a partner to further develop our AI technology. And of course, natural conversation is a crucial part of the journey towards the hyper-personalized user experience. And MBUX Virtual Assistant is the next big milestone. To tell you more about it, I'd like to welcome on stage my dear colleague, Chief Software Officer Magnus Östberg. Magnus, stage is yours. Thank you, Marcus, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As Marcus said, uh, the next virtual assistant is the next big thing and the big proof point for the hyper-personalized experience at Mercedes-Benz. It is intelligent, proactive, and empathetic. With a more natural and human-like interaction, we achieve this using generative AI and large language models. So as we know, when we interact with somebody, it helps if you can see them, right? So in a major step, our virtual assistant presents a new face to the customer, one with expressions that are easy to understand and intuitive. When it interacts with the driver, the assistant uses movements, light, intensity, and color. So, for instance, you can quickly and intuitively tell if the virtual assistant is speaking to you, listening, or just thinking. So, knowing the mood of the virtual assistant elevates the interaction beyond your simple messages and responses. It really brings feelings to the conversations, and that is crucial that the customer can tell right away whether it's simply just making conversations like we do now, or providing an important alert that you need to pay attention to. So when we created the virtual assistant, our top priority was to ensure that it always is in tune with the customer. So to achieve that, we actually gave it four characteristics, or personal traits, if you want to call it that. Those are natural, predictive, empathetic, and, and personal. So of course, natural is the baseline. So it ensures seamless interactions with natural dialogue powered by large language models. Its AI-based recommendations can cover a whole range of interesting interests and you know, make conversations interactive, more intuitive, and it really builds trust uh, in, in, in what we're saying. This, in turn, encourages more engagement so that we actually can learn more from it. It leverages the best of voice and graphical interfaces and uses ambient light surrounding around it and sounds to aid in the communication. Building on that, we come then to predictive, this attribute which is more proactive. It provides helpful suggestions and routines. So, for instance, if you're running late to a meeting, it can automatically reschedule your meeting or dial you directly in from the car if that is what you want. Moving to the empathetic side of this personality, it gives you more emotional relationship with your car. It can, 
well, have a more emotional sounding voice, natural, that it uh, expresses moods in if I'm angry or, or tired. Um, for the user, this generates a sense of empathy, a sense of, of belonging to the car. So adding to that, the visual expressions of the avatar are also part of the empathetic side. So each of these characteristics is being developed and refined over time. So of course, to make it even more personal, you can, if you want to, adopt the virtual assistants using settings in our central hub, if that is to your liking. So moving on over to advanced graphics, they play actually a huge role here and open up an exciting new opportunities for this visual communication to assist the virtual assistant. So here we're using 3D graphics from Unity Game Engine that really can elevate many aspects of the user interface, such as immersive experience. So we expand then features and apps to use this technique over time. And as I said, the virtual assistant provides then some glimpse of what we want to do, but uh, there is more heading, right? Exciting stuff, and I think we speak for all of us here. We would love to be able to have conversations with our car. May I ask, is it too much to give the virtual assistant a try right here, right now? No, of course. Be my guest. OK. Hey, Mercedes, I'm in the mood for Italian. Could you suggest a really good restaurant that's not too far from the convention center? I have some great options that are convenient for CES attendees. If you're in the mood for an Italian dish, then Carbone is fantastic choice, known for its bold flavors and stylish setting that customers really love. My friends actually love Carbone. I, I heard it's great, but I'm not sure what time we're going to be finished here. So what time does it close? It's open today until 10.30 PM. All right, good to know. Thank you, Mercedes. You're welcome, Katie. That was incredibly easy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for letting me give it a go. I think the million dollar question is, when will we be able to see the Mercedes virtual assistants in a Mercedes Benz? Well, it will be available on the MBUS in the MMA platform, starting with the MMA and then rolling out to all the vehicles. Amazing stuff. We all look forward to that. Well, there you have it. A first-hand look at a demo of the MBUX virtual assistant in the seat buck right here on the stand. We urge you all to stay around and check it out later. But I'm going to let you have at it because I know there's much more to the graphics aspect of everything you'd like to discuss. The floor is yours again. All right. Thanks, Katie. Yes, as I mentioned, graphics plays a huge role in making the virtual assistant a, a great interface to the car. But when we're on the journey, it's important to know where you are going, right? So, but it's also very important to know exactly where you are. And anybody who has driven around here in the strip or behind the casinos, it is very difficult to know exactly when to make the turn and exactly where to go. So, Navigation with high-resolution game engine graphics really can make this much, much easier. In China, we've already offered lane-level navigations with 3D graphics from the Unity game engine in the E-Class that is right over there. It's give you super realistic views of the infrastructure around you, like buildings or casinos. It even takes to your uh, account whether it's light or dark outside, and at the same time, it doesn't distract you or overload you with information. So the view focuses on the infrastructure that is relevant to you and to your route. So you know exactly where you're going, and you're never going to miss that turn because you see the infrastructure around you. The customer feedback that we've received so far is so good that we've decided to take this to the next level. And we have a great new feature that combines route guidance with driver assistance and amazing 3D graphics together with AI. We use this to classify all the objects detected by the sensors and merge them into a virtual environment, giving you the context in real time. We call it MBUX surround navigation. And you can see that in the seat buck here as well today. It includes realistic rendering of cars, vans, trucks, busser, buses, motorcycles, and even cyclists, as well as the direction of travel that they are heading. You can also see traffic signs, stoplights, and even pedestrians. You can also see 
your own Mercedes and knows immediately if your headlights are on and your turn indications. So we will introduce the MBUX surround navigation with our vehicles on the MMA platform coming out in 25. Thank you so much, Magnus. It's a lot certainly happening here at Mercedes-Benz in terms of navigation. And I want to just stay on that topic for a moment because I know there is a lot more to talk about. And you're working with incredible amount of partners that are critical in this space. So what can you share on that aspect? Well, since we are the architect of our software house, we invite A players that we talked about before. And one of those A players is Google. And together with them, we are building a navigation solution for the future. It was about a year ago that we announced our partnership. And at that time, we made place details by Google available right away to our fleets out there. And yeah, there you have it. And I understand a lot of hard work has been going on since then. And this is a great part of being at CES. Why not hear from the key players, both at Mercedes-Benz and also at Google? And on that note, to talk more about this partnership, I'd like to invite Marcus back up to stage alongside Chris Phillips, VP and General Manager, Geo, at Google. Welcome back on stage, Marcus. And Chris, so good for you to be joining with us here uh, at CES. Thank you for having me. Really How many years here, here at CES is it for you? <laughs> oh, it's been a few years since I've been, but I love CES, and it's so great to see these amazing showcases and all these wonderful announcements. Amazing. Well, we know that it's undeniable when it comes to data, how much we turn to Google as such a mainstream source and so awesome for you to be with us here today. So as we continue to look forward with this partnership with Google and with Mercedes-Benz, anything that you can share, Chris, that you're really much looking forward to? Well, we're really excited to partner with Mercedes. I mean, world-class organization creating the best in the driving experiences and such high quality. And we know in partnering together that Mercedes wants a really customized, refined user experience. They want the UI, the visual experience, the look and feel, the brand to come through. They also want to do that on top of the Google Maps intelligence and all the really powerful, comprehensive information that we provide. So we're really thrilled to be able to create the automotive SDK. The automotive SDK is what we're offering to OEMs, where they can build that branded, customized experience and really have that look and feel that celebrates the vehicle for the driver, but underpinned with the intelligence that we provide around navigation, real-time traffic, predictive traffic, speed limit information, and so much more information to make that um, experience really, really powerful. And the reality is the world is changing all the time. When we think about Google Maps, we think about the world and the map being alive. We have over 50 million updates to the map happening every day. And over 300 million people are contributing to those changes. So it's so important to have that and the actual road networks accurate so we can bring to life these amazing experiences. Incredibly key indicators there from the Google Maps side. And certainly a huge advantage to be able to pull all of that data together. Marcus, as you had earlier alluded to, Mercedes-Benz customers are already benefiting from place details by Google. And for anyone that's listening that's like, not really sure a lot about what place details is, perhaps you can jump in and share a little bit more on that. Well, we talk a lot about uh, technology here, but technology is just an enabler, right? Chris, it's, it's all about the customer experience and that's what Mercedes-Benz stands for, a really extraordinary customer experience since 138 years driving a car, having a quality product, trusting a product. And that's how we got uh, together, right, as partners here. And it was a joyful uh, work, I have to say, Chris, working with Google. And there was nothing off the shelf. Well, we developed it together, a premium product that serves our customers. And as you said, I remember the day last February when we kicked it off and we just pressed the button and downloaded Google Places <laughs> to the cards. Thanks to our uh, current status of our EE architecture, we were able to download it to millions of cars uh, and providing the next level of customer experience uh, to our customers out there. In the meantime, three million customers got the update of uh, Google Places and a whole new experience uh, for our customers out there. And it's amazing if you try it, if you know the system before, know it now, you have any wish to go anywhere, you need to find a pharmacy, a doctor, uh, you need to take a, a picture for your passport, 
Uh, just ask the system and you will have it. And you're starting Basically. to touch on it there. How do customers really benefit from place details? Well, it's, you have accurate information. You have really accurate information. You have access to 250 million uh, places in the world. And, you know, it's always accurate. You can trust it. And this is, again, about trust here. So the store opening hours are probably pretty accurate. You got the pictures here. You got all the details. And, of course, you got the ratings. So you got millions and billions of ratings in the system here. So this fits very much to uh, what our customers expect. Wonderful. Chris, we know that you're always innovating in this space at Google within partners like Mercedes. CES is kind of the perfect time to share with us what you're expecting when it comes to looking ahead and looking forward. So maybe you can give us a little preview, a little sneak peek of what Google and Mercedes are up to coming up. Yeah, I mean, we're really proud to invest and in super focused at Google on the automotive market and working with great partners and bringing that next generation driving experience to the world. And we're doing a lot at Google. We have, beyond what we've talked about with the automotive SDK, we continue to offer really easy access to apps for consumers with our Android Auto integrations. We also are very focused on sustainability. And we're proud of the capabilities that we've been building to help people with a more energy and fuel efficient route, understanding where to find EV charging stations, and even routing based on EV charging. We even announced here at CES updates to our Android EV routing capabilities. And we're also really focused on the new release and upcoming releases of Gemini, our most powerful model that we're bringing to help power these future experiences and make them widely accessible as generative AI and the growth happens there. We're excited to bring that to the automotive space and make it really widely available for everybody. Exciting stuff, and stay there because we're going to get back to that in just a moment. Right. Magnus, got to bring you into the conversation here. We're all listening to this unfold. What could you share that it would actually look like, and how would it be integrated into the Mercedes systems? Well, what is so uh, powerful here is that the teams of, of Google and Chris's teams here and my team are really coming together, are two worlds blending together. So we have the intelligence of the data that makes our everyday digital life so exciting and easier uh, coming from, from Google, together with the MBOS team that presents this information in a safe and reliable way with all the screens to all the passengers, both front and back, and that's really where the magic happens. Amazing stuff. So much to look forward to coming up. And of course, we just spent some time, exciting times, discussing navigation. But Chris, we know that when it comes to Google, there's so much more that goes beyond Google Maps in general. And coming into the automotive space, perhaps you can touch on that a little bit and just how Google is expanding its interest in that category. Yeah, I mean, as mentioned, there's a lot of new capabilities coming out. And we're really excited because our Google Maps platform has all these great capabilities around places and maps. And, and now we're able to tailor that to come to life in the car. And offering flexibility and options is really important. We know that automakers want choice. We know drivers want choice. And so it's really critical that we offer our world-class services in a way that celebrates the differences in the brands and the differentiated infotainment experience that companies and great products like Mercedes-Benz expect. So we've really um, helped open up more of those options to bring to life great navigation, trusted data, and an awesome experience that we're seeing here. I know you're crazy about this partnership and the passion comes through, so thank you for sharing that. I think we can all agree it's exciting to hear how Google is so immersed in the automotive industry in so many ways. So thank you so much for joining us here today on stage, Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Phillips and Magnus Osberg, let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. So we talked a lot about infotainment, and we hope you've enjoyed everything so far. However, it's just one of the hardware building blocks of the Mercedes-Benz operating system and BOS. And Marcus, I'm going to leave it to you because I'd like for you to expo expand a little bit more about that and give you the floor one more time. Well, there's uh, so much more in store, and I think we have uh, only limited time here. But thank you, Kate. It's yes, indeed. And there's a lot more we could talk about and uh, how we can enlighten our customer's journey. So our hardware base layer of MBOS has four domains. Infotainment, we talked about it, driving and charging, very important body and comfort, and automated driving. The overarching component is the connectivity module for communication with the Mercedes-Benz Intelligent Cloud. 
This module has many, many functions. One of the main ones is over-the-air update. And this will play an increasingly important role in the future. Many of our upcoming features will be available over the air. In fact, we are presenting two of them this afternoon. One of the best things about MBOS is that we will enable us to enhance our vehicles throughout the entire lifetime. The hyper-personalized Mercedes-Benz of the future will keep growing and adapting to its customers' evolving needs and wishes. So let me explain what that means for automated driving domain. We want to offer our customers a broad range of options based on the latest advances and legislations in every market. Through over-the-air updates and activation, the customer should be able to access the features most in tune with their current needs. Our current generation of automated driving features puts us at the forefront of industry. Our comfort and safety systems are state of the art. We already have more than 40 driving assistance systems. Our recent achievements included the automatic lane change function. If a slower vehicle drives ahead of you, Mercedes can automatically initiate a lane change. It's already available here in the US. And I can tell you that many other markets, such as China, will follow soon. Then, of course, there's our Drive Pilot, the world's first officially certified level three system for conditionally automated driving. Sales of Drive Pilot have started in California and here in Nevada with the first vehicles on US roads since the end of 2023. It has been available in Germany since May 2022, and we have getting a great customer feedback. Drive Pilot operates on suitable freeways at speeds up to 40 miles per hour in traffic jam. For Germany, we are working on the next version with an increased speed of around 90 kilometers per hour, which is 56 miles per hour. We want to offer that to our customers there by the end of this year. And great news for China. Mercedes-Benz is one of the first OEMs to obtain approval for the conditionally automated driving road test license in Beijing. We recently achieved another milestone. Mercedes-Benz became the first automaker to receive testing permits for special marker lights for automated driving in the state of California. And the Nevada allows production vehicles to be equipped with special marker lights beginning the model year 2026. The lights indicate the activation status of the automated driving system. The first use case will be in our drive pilot test vehicles in California. The special turquoise lights are integrated into the headlamps, rear lights, and side mirrors. And thanks to MBOS, we are making rapid progress with our next generation of automated driving systems. We are working on new solutions developed in collaboration with world-class partners. Our MMA vehicles will have a comprehensive best-in-class sensor set for advanced level two assistance. Because MBOS, we can assure our vehicles are future-proofed for even more advanced automated driving features. The MBS software and its computing power is generally ready for an SRE level three system upgrade. We could do this in vehicle equipped with redundancies in vital vehicle components and additional sensing modalities. Our goal will be reached with our strong partners, namely NVIDIA with their drive Orin hardware and software platform, and Lumina with their LiDAR sensors. And I'm very happy to welcome Jinchu, Jinchu Wu here from NVIDIA, and Austin Russell from Lumina, our partners here, uh, joining us on the journey to automated driving. Thanks for being with us today here and uh, making this happen.
Thank you. A big round of applause for Marcus Schaefer. Thank you. Thank you. We have covered a lot of exciting ground, and I hope that's given you a taste of all the incredible things to see here at the Mercedes-Benz booth. Please do stick around and take some time to have a closer look. There are experts on hand to explain all the details. And of course, check out the Concept CLA class and get acquainted with the MBUX virtual assistants right here in the seat buck. Isn't that right, Mercedes? I look forward to chatting with you. I could show you round Vegas and give you some tips for the latest shows. And if you're in the mood, we could even talk about your feelings. I could get used to this. Thank you, Mercedes. <laughs> and I'll get back to you later about the dinner reservations. But first, Marcus and Magnus will be with me again later this afternoon at 2.30 p.m. to talk about what Mercedes-Benz is up to in immersive in-car entertainment. And we can promise you it's an entirely new kind of interactive music experience, as well as a groundbreaking partnership in spoken word audio. Joining us at 2.30 will be two huge guests from the worlds of music and podcasting. Little tease there. Let me say, you're definitely not going to want to miss this. On behalf of Mercedes-Benz, I'm Katie Linnedahl. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate all your time and attention, and stay tuned. <laughs>